The objective for today is that students will be able to identify two quantities when there is a concentrate rate. We are starting unit four proportions and percentages, which is the seventh grade level, but I teach sixth grade advanced math in Illinois. All right, let's move on to the next activity. 1.2 flags are many sizes. Many sizes. One standard size for the United States flag is 19 feet by 10 feet. Think about that, 19 feet by 10 feet. Is that a large flag or a small flag? Large. Pretty large. On a flag of this size, the union, which is the blue rectangle in the top left corner, is seven and five eighths feet by five and three eighths feet. What is a possible use for that big of a flag? Where, where might we see or use a flag that is that big, 19 by 10 feet? Yes. A football field, yeah. Outside of a building? Um, maybe a school. Maybe a school, that 19 feet, you know, that's gonna be like across this room, maybe up in a gym or something, or a big auditorium or something, yeah. Uh, well, we're probably in the at the White House, okay, a big flagpole. There are many places that display flags of different sizes, right? So I'm just reading the bullet points there. Classrooms display a U.S. flag. Stamps often have the U.S. flag on it. There is also a flag on the space shuttle. And astronauts on Apollo missions had a flag on a shoulder patch that they wore. So all those flags are different sizes, but are they in proportion to each other? We're gonna kind of explore that today. And we are going to start with a routine called co-craft questions. You see that on your page? Write possible mathematical questions about the situation of the American flag. You're going to be doing some quiet think time first, and I want you to think of what are possible questions, mathematical questions, that we could pose about the situation about our flag. Mathematical things that we could investigate about this flag. Go ahead and take two minutes of quiet time and write some things down. Okay, now that you have some quiet time to think about it, now you're going to connect with a partner and you're gonna share the possible questions that we could use. So you are working together and maybe creating another question to add to what you have. How many stripes are there? How many stars are there? Are the number of stripes proportional to the number of stars? And are different sizes of the flag proportional to each other? Stripes. And what is the area of the blue rectangle? Ooh, that is a good question. Did you read your question? Why did they make it exactly 19 feet by 10 feet? And why is it so large the area is 190? It could fill a whole classroom. Questions were from Chris Golden. Um, so mine were, was the area of the flag, the perimeter of the flag, and if all the sizes flags are proportional and how many stripes would be on 10 flags. And then mine, I only had one, was what would be a scaled copy of 19 by 10 feet? Excellent vocabulary, both of you. Great mathematical precision with the words that you are using. Okay, now we've had two minutes of partner time. I was able to walk around and capture a little bit of what you were discussing. Raise your hand if you'd like to now. We're co-creating together as an entire class. Share some of the ones that you used mathematical vocabulary and you had questions that you could possibly explore. Love to hear your ideas. Yes, Faye. Um, what would be like a possible scaled copy of 16 What would be a scaled copy of, say it again? 19 by 10 feet. 19 by 10 feet. I know my X was a little funny there. Okay, great. One, two, three. Another one. Alexis. Are the number of stripes proportional to the number of stars? Is that what you said? Yeah. Excellent. I love it. I'm even going to highlight some of this great mathematical vocabulary you're using. We got scaled copy, we've got proportional. Excellent job. Let's do a one, two, three, clap. One, two, three. Another one. Yes. Um, is the, what is the area of the flag and the parameter of the flag? Okay. Sorry, I started to write that wrong. What is the area 
of the flag. And then also perimeter. Wonderful. I'm going to go ahead and collect that language you gave, area and perimeter. You should be jotting a couple of these down so that you have more. Yes. Go ahead, Carson. And, uh, how, um, is the flag in Y plus KX phone? Is the flag, what about the flag? What two things would you be comparing on the flag to be in Y equals KX form? Um, like, 19 by 10. So what do those measure, 19 by 10? What is that? It's measuring the length, and width. length and width. Is the flag length and width in Y equals KX form? Great additional question. These are all excellent. So impressive. One, two, three, clap for it. One, two, three. Is there another one? I've run out of room. You guys are so brilliant. I have to now shrink this writing so that I can add more thinking on here. Is there another one? Anybody else? Yes. If they didn't give you the whole perimeter, they might give you only the one thing, and then you would have to figure out the blue thing. So you might want to know the perimeter of the blue. Okay, so what is the perimeter of the union? I want to make sure I capture everything you said. You were saying we might have the perimeter of the entire flag, but that wouldn't tell us the perimeter of the blue part. Is that what you're we kind of saying? We might have the perimeter of the red part, but they might not give us like, yes. the Yes. So we, need, we would need to know the length and width yeah. of, of the blue part of the union. Excellent. Let me go into the next part. Excellent questions. That got your mind thinking about the math that we might do. It got you focused on retrieving some of the vocabulary that we've done in Unit 1 and Unit 2. Now, I'm going to have you work with that same partner. You're going to choose one of these four options. You're going to decide a size that would be appropriate. Go back up to the very top. We talked about classroom flags. We talked about flags on stamps a flag on the space shuttle, and also a flag on a patch of an astronaut. Okay, that was very at the top of our warm-up. You should be looking at that. You and your partner are going to choose one of those. So you're going to choose one of these situations. And then I want you to look below, and I want you to decide which scale. These are all scale factors. Which one would you use for that particular flag? Keeping in mind that we said 19 by 10, right? Was that what it said at the top? Yeah. 19 by 10 feet is a standard size. How are you going to use those measurements to scale the one that you chose? Okay, so go ahead and get with your partner and get to, get to work on that.